Brave Enough for Two by Jonathan D. Voss. Hoot was Olive's very best friend in the whole wide world. But as you know, best friends don't always like the same things. Take, for example, adventures. Olive preferred the kind found in books. Hoot, on the other hand, well, he preferred something a little different. One day, Hoot said, I've made something special for you, but it could be a small bit scary and a slightly bigger bit adventurous. You know I don't like adventures, said Olive. I'm not brave like you. Don't worry, said Hoot. I will be brave enough for both of us. It's very nice, said Olive. Does it go high? A little, said Hoot, climbing into the basket, but not too high. Olive followed after. Up they rose over rooftops and treetops till the ground looked like a giant patchwork quilt passing beneath them. What do you think, asked Hoot. I think this is what it's like to be a cloud, said Olive, but we've gone way more than a little high. Just then, a drop of water landed on her nose. The clouds darkened and thunder cracked with a flash of light. Giant drops poured from the sky. The wind swirled, the basket rocked. What if the wind blows us far away and we get lost, cried Olive. Hoot squeezed her hand. We can never be lost, he said, so long as I'm here and you're there and here and there aren't very far apart. All of a sudden, the sun poked through the clouds. The wind calmed. Look, said Hoot, a rainbow. Olive smiled. Hoot untied the balloons one by one. Lower and lower the basket dropped till it scraped the ground and toppled over. The pair rolled out, head over bottom, into a patch of grass. We made it, said Olive in a surprised sort of way. What should we do now? Of course we made it, said Hoot. And now I have another idea. Hoot pushed the basket into a nearby river. I've never been in a boat before, said Olive. Then it will be the first time for both of us, said Hoot. Will we go fast, asked Olive. Maybe just a little, said Hoop, tying a flag to their new ship's mast. The boat bobbed and spun like a carnival ride. What do you think, asked Hoop. I think we are going faster than just a little, said Olive. Down the river they sped till it became a bubbling cauldron of rocks and waves. We're going way too fast, cried Olive. Hoot paddled with all his might. Don't be afraid, he said. I'll keep you safe. And he did. But on the shore, Hoot stood silent. What's the matter, asked Olive. Hoot picked up a piece of his stuffing. I'm not feeling all that well. Olive paused, but only for a moment. Then she said, don't worry, Hoot. I'll lead the way home. I will be brave enough for both of us. Hoot followed her every step. It will be dark soon, he said. If it gets dark, we might get lost. Hoot, said Olive in a kind way. So long as I'm here and you're there and here and there aren't very far apart, we can never be lost. Just as the sun began to set, a familiar sight appeared. Home, said Olive and Hoot together. That night, Hoot got a patch. For bravery, said Olive, and tomorrow, how about I choose the adventure, Hoot smiled. I was afraid today, he said, when my stuffing came out, but you were brave and you kept me safe. Don't ever be afraid, Olive whispered. I'll always keep you safe. And she did.